Hello everyone, I'm Morgan and today I want to talk to you about five books I've read recently. So as usual I'm going to go from the one I like the least to the one I like the most. And this time the one I like the least is Full Moon by uh, Jim Wiltshire. This is the second book in the Dresden Files series. The first one being, uh, what is it? Stormfront and sadly I didn't enjoy it as much as the first book. There wasn't really much going on um, and yeah first of all what this series is about is this guy uh, Harry Dresden who is a magician and he is helping some cop uh, solve mysteries that seem supernatural but he doesn't want to tell her too much because there's uh, this white council who are basically some sort of tribunal for supernatural stuff and they don't want anything to go out uh, they don't want humans to know about supernatural beings so Harry has to try to help people without telling them too much uh, for them not to be hurt the first book in this series was really interesting. I like to discover the world in it and how the White Council worked a little and uh, Harry Dresden just in general, but this one uh, was just really slow actually. It's pretty typical urban fantasy with people trying to kill him and killing other people and him trying to find out what's happening basically and uh, there are some comical reliefs also uh, because there are some jokes he's pretty self-deprecating but not in a bad way i guess he's kind of fun sometimes but um i don't know i think this dragged a lot and though i liked some of the characters i just i wasn't really into it so that was it then i want to talk about the therapist by neil Giacometti. uh this is a novella about a character, I don't remember his name anymore, I don't think, I don't even think he has a name actually in the book, uh, but anyway it's about him and his wife who have lost a child. So he tells the story of how this accident happened and how they're trying to overcome it and we also go back in time to when they had just met and when they had their child and when she was pregnant uh, so it's really hard it's about grief and motherhood it's very emotional and hard to read at times and it's about this therapist also that they go to see and you're not really sure what's real in this actually and what's not uh, because he has lost hold of reality I guess and that was interesting to see I guess uh, but this honestly didn't do a lot for me though this was pretty good but I just didn't feel very close to the characters and I don't know like it was pretty good I said the writing is actually quite good good and the chapters are quite short which was really good for the momentum of the novel uh novella whatever i guess i just didn't really care so next is wolf hall by Hilary mantel i listened to the audiobook of this one and i would recommend it i really like the narrator uh but yes this book follows this guy Thomas Cromwell who is part of the court of Henry VIII and he's trying to help him I guess. At the beginning he works for the cardinal uh, but the cardinal is arrested and he has to continue his work but also do things for himself and we follow him basically it's a lot about what's happening in the court so if you like reality reality tv i think you actually enjoy this uh, because there are many characters who are always talking about others and what they're doing so i thought it was quite fun to read actually and i didn't really have to follow really hard to be able to 
understand the book so i like that in a way because i didn't want something that uh, required too much of my brain power um but yeah, just, I really like this book and the characters, uh, mostly Thomas Cromwell is just a great character to follow, I feel like. He is really smart and also cunning and I don't know, he just, he's really interesting. I, I never know what he's thinking and neither do most of the characters who talk to him, so that's a huge thing, but um... Overall, it's also about so the cardinal and what's happening to him, uh, but also Henry, the king, who wants to leave his wife and get another one, so he wants a divorce, and um, but obviously, like at this time, uh, people don't get divorces and it's really hard, so they have to work the people and um, the church so that they will accept this divorce and him getting another wife. The reason he wants to get another wife is because his uh, current one cannot have children or he has tried before but she's always miscarried so uh, it's hard on them and he really has to have an heir because he is the king and uh, so yeah, it's about that and how also both of the women uh, handle that and just it's a lot of uh, relationships and I don't know just uh, stuff that are happening between them and I just I really really like that I just I don't really know what to say about this novel because I wasn't really paying attention but overall I was just really enjoying myself and uh, I will definitely read the second one as well and the third one which just came out uh, but I'm not in a rush I just it, it was really Nice read. Next I want to talk about Will my cat eat my eyeballs? Big questions from Tiny Mortals about death by Kathleen Dowdy. I listened to this one as well, an audiobook, because the, uh, the, the author narrates it and I really like the narration. Uh, but yeah, this, as the title says, uh, was questions about death from children. And it was just so, so interesting to hear about those questions and the answers and I just I learned so much about death and what you cannot cannot do uh, like I don't know one of the questions was obviously um, will my cat eat my eyeballs and uh, there was another one that asked um, can you keep the skull of one of your loved ones at home and stuff like that I it just it's kind of silly but also fascinating and she answers with a lot of science stuff that I enjoyed um, being a scientist but also just in general it's, it's fascinating what she was talking about and I didn't know anything um, about all that so I just I really want to read more by her uh, she has been at least one other book that I know of so I will get to that one pretty soon too uh, but yeah just a uh, really really interesting read and the last one I want to talk about is Heartstopper by Alice Oseman uh, this is a graphic novel this follows Nick and Charlie who meet at the beginning of the book uh, because they are in the same class and they start talking and Charlie is known to be gay and he has had bad experiences uh, with other people that he has tried to date and uh, so when he meets Nick who isn't gay uh, he just gets really interested in him because Nick is so sweet and also handsome and he for he falls for him really hard and he doesn't know if uh, Nick is going to like him back because Nick isn't gay or doesn't know anyway what he wants uh, so we follow them um, getting to know each other and falling in love and it's just so so cute and I've heard how sweet it was but I, I didn't know how much honestly before reading it. I, I loved it so much. I read it in one sitting and I need the next books. There are two more that are already out and it's also a webcomic so you can read it online 
and i just I, I need more from this story it's just it's beautiful and sweet and heartwarming and i i, I need more i loved it so 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 good so yeah i i would highly recommend you check this out uh but yeah that's all for me thank you for watching uh, please tell me if you have read any of these books and what you thought of them as i would love to know uh, but that's all for today thank you for watching and hope to see you in another video goodbye Dream I know, deep up my feelings, feelings.